Virtually every sports reporter in this city has gotten leaks from UNLV that have been damaging to Tarkanian. Now, the first evidence we obtained of these leaks was in 1987 when an L.A. Times writer was returning a letter to a UNLV professor thanking him for information that was damaging to Tarkanian. It is no longer a question among reporters as to whether the leaks have taken place. We all know they have. The only questions here are, first of all, what is UNLV President Maxson's, uh, Robert Maxson's response to these leaks? And, quite frankly, another question is, so what if there were leaks? Some have said the leaks were designed to get the bad, meaning Tarkanian, out of the university. The media, and this is important, it's significant, the media should not be used or allow itself to be used to fulfill the university's agenda, whether that agenda is positive or negative. In other words, if UNLV wanted Tarkanian out, they can do their own dirty work. The university had another vehicle to get rid of Tarkanian that they apparently didn't have the courage to use. That's just fire the guy. Tarkanian surely supplied the university with enough ammo over the years, and surely President Maxwell was not real pleased with the academic standards of some of the rebel basketball players. And no university president could have liked the ongoing NCAA problems, and there was no indication that those problems were ever going to stop with Tarkanian. Now, coaches get fired all the time, but it is unprecedented, as far as I know, for a university to hammer a coach through the media to the point that he just can't stand it anymore, then calls it quits. Now, the other question involves Maxson's reaction. It's time for Maxson to come out on the record with how he feels about the leaks. Does he condone them? Does he encourage them? Does he ignore them? We can't ignore them when they ultimately damage the reputation of his university. Now, publicly, Maxson has always spoken fondly of Tarkanian. If those words are indeed true, then we can expect those who have orchestrated the leaks to somehow, someday, be reprimanded by Maxson. But don't count on it. I want to emphasize here that this is not a report that supports or hammers Tarkanian, but rather I'm disgusted by the means in which this university chose to force him out. Many of the stories released by the university actually provided little value and little content, except to create damaging headlines. Any journalist worth his weight in typewriter tapes knows that we editorialize a story by where it is placed in a newspaper or broadcast. If you use a headline or a lead news story, that shows that there is something very significant to the story. Many times in the rush to, by the media to bury Tarkanian, insignificant stories like the car investigation, Tark signing tickets to Sam Perry two years before anybody knew who Perry was, and an assistant coach going to high school with Sam Perry are just a few examples of how local media took liberties with this responsibility. We have to present the facts fairly. This university needs to realize that if in the future they have a coach they want to get rid of, please just do it and let us debate the merits or the lack thereof. The means, in this case, does not justify the end, especially, especially when the university had the means to do it all along. Your point has been well taken.